standard 6th subject maths chapter 3 integers practice set number 5 dear students you have learned what are integers negative numbers zero and positive numbers together form a set of integers now today we are going to learn addition of integers on the number line we shall show the rabbits hops to the right with positive signs and the ones to the left with negative signs you know that on a number line, the numbers to the left of 0 are negative, to the right of 0 are positive. So, same way we are going to count the rabbit's hops. So, look at this. This activity is in your, in your textbook on page number 16. You can complete the activity there. At first, the rabbit was at the number. Where do you see the rabbit? Which number is there? Plus 1. Yes. So, right. At first, the rabbit was at the number plus 1. It hopped dash units to the right. How many units has it hopped? So, let's count from plus 1 to plus 2 is 1 hop. 1, 2 units, 3, 4 and 5. That means the rabbit has hopped total 5 units in order to reach here. So, we write it hopped 5 units to the right. Now, which number it is? Yeah, it is now at the number, you can see, plus 6. So, we have answered the given questions here. What does this tell us? It tells us that 1, this plus 1 is a 1. Okay, plus 1. And it has hopped how many units? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Means 1 plus 5 gives us how much? 6. And we already know that, that 1 plus 5 is 6. But we have proved it with the help of number line. That 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. So what do you know now? To add a positive number to a given number, we move that many units to the right on the number line. You move to the right on the number line when you add a positive number. Okay. So now you can see. Now I know to add a positive number to a given number, we move that many units to the right on the number line from the given number. Next, one more activity. Now you see. That at first the rabbit was at the number. Which number is this? Plus 3. Okay. He hopped dash units to the left. Count how many units he has hopped. From 3 to plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units he has hopped backwards. So we write he hopped 4 units to the left. And it is now at the number where does the arrow point out? Minus 1. It is now at the number minus 1. So, when the rabbit moves backward or towards the left on the number line, it is represented as subtraction. So, plus 3 plus minus 4 gives us how much? The answer is minus 1. Now, I know to add a negative number. Means what we are doing? Adding negative number. When we add a negative number, when we move towards the left of the number line. Okay. Whenever you move towards the left of the number line, you are using negative number. So, to add negative number to the given number, we move that many units to the left on the number line from the given number. That is, we move backward on the number line. Which means we subtract. So now, let's have a look at some examples. Every time we cannot use a number line to add or subtract integers. So how do we add or subtract integers without using a number line? Let's have a look here. Plus 5 plus plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay, and the sign is positive. Minus 5 plus minus 3. Here also 5 plus 3 is 8, but the sign is negative. That means to add uh, two positive numbers, whenever when adding integers with the same sign, you can see 
in this example first example both the integers are having same signs positive positive and here both the integers are having same sign negative negative so, and both these integers are being added here also addition here also addition so when adding integers with which sign same sign ignore the signs and first add the numbers 5 plus 3 straight away 8 5 plus 3 straight away 8 and then you have to give the common sign to the sum which is the common sign here plus sign is common so answer gets plus sign which is the common sign here minus sign is common so answer gets minus sign this is the most important tool of integers my dear students and you have to learn it thoroughly so once again i will explain to you what we are doing here we are adding integers you can see the plus sign here and in this example plus sign so we are adding two integers which two integers are being added here two integers which both have the same sign plus 5 then plus 3 minus 5 then here we don't have plus 3 we have minus then minus only minus 5 minus 3 when this condition is there and you need to add them then you straight away add the numbers first 5 plus 3 8 and then give the sign to the answer which was there for the numbers in the question. Minus, then minus, plus, then plus. Now you will have a question in mind. What if one integer is positive and other is negative? So let's have a look at that. Now your minus 8 is negative, plus 2 is positive and we have to add them. And here... 8 is positive, 3 is negative and we have to add it. Okay, not a problem. There is a rule. When adding integers with different signs, now you can see these integers are having different signs. Ignore the signs. Again, ignore the signs. And subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Which is the smaller number here? 2. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. And then give the sign of the bigger number to the difference what you obtain so bigger number is 8 it has got minus sign so answer will also have minus sign let's see here the first integer is positive second integer is negative different signs means we have to subtract them 8 minus 3 is 5 and the greater number that is 8 is positive so answer will also be positive this is the most important rule of addition of integers and on this rule only we are going to solve sums based from practice set 5 so what do you know now now i know when adding integers with the same signs whether positive positive or whether negative negative ignore the signs and add the numbers then give the common sign to the sum if the question was positive sign, answer also positive sign. If the integers in the question were negative, answer will also bear negative sign. And the second rule that you studied, when adding integers with different signs, again you will ignore the signs but this time you will subtract. Remember, same means add, same means add, different means subtract, different signs means subtract so 8 minus 2 is 6 and while giving the sign give the sign of the greater number that you see 8 is greater than 2 sign is minus so answer will also have minus sign okay here different signs so our rule is subtract when the signs are different 8 minus 3 is 5 and we see that the out of 8 and 3 the number which is greater is 8 so positive sign will come to the answer so the sign of the bigger number is given to the answer bigger number we cannot compare which is greater and smaller in this bigger number okay so now let us begin with Practice set 5. You have question 1, sub question 6 and then question 2 you have to complete the table. 
सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट एट प्लस सिक्स यू ऑलरेडी नो टू एड इट वेरी इजीली बट एज पर द रूल वी नो दैट एट इज पॉजिटिव सिक्स इज पॉजिटिव वेन टू नंबर्स इंटीजर्स आर पॉजिटिव एंड वी हैव टू एड दैम एट प्लस सिक्स वी जस्ट एड फोर्टीन एंड गिव द साइन ऑफ द इंटीजर्स इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज प्लस साइन सेकेंड सम नाइन प्लस माइनस थ्री ना यू सी यर वन इज पॉजिटिव अदर इज नेगेटिव सो इग्नोर द साइंस एंड सप्रैक दैम नाइन माइनस थ्री इज सिक्स एंड साइन ऑफ बिगर नंबर नाइन इज प्लस सो प्लस सिक्स ओके सो जस्ट अप्लाई योर रूल योर थर्ड सम फाइव प्लस माइनस सिक्स यू नो वन इज पॉजिटिव अदर इज नेगेटिव डिफरेंट साइंस सो सप्रैक सिक्स माइनस फाइव इज वन एंड साइन ऑफ बिगर नंबर इज माइनस सो माइनस वन फोर्थ सम माइनस सेवन प्लस टू बोथ इंटीजर्स हैव डिफरेंट साइंस सो सप्रैक सेवन माइनस टू फाइव एंड द साइन ऑफ बिगर नंबर इज माइनस सो माइनस फाइव फिफ्थ सम माइनस एट प्लस जीरो इज माइनस एट ओके सिक्स माइनस फाइव प्लस माइनस टू नाउ यर इन दिस सम बोथ इंटीजर्स हैव नेगेटिव साइन माइनस साइन वेन द साइंस आर सेम वी हैव टू एड फाइव प्लस टू इज सेवन एंड गिव द साइन दैट द क्वेश्चन बेर्स द इंटीजर्स इन द क्वेश्चन आर नेगेटिव सो वी विल गिव अ नेगेटिव साइन आंसर विल बी माइनस सेवन सो होप यू गॉट योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स go to question number 2 where you have to complete the table given below now how are we going to form the equation minus 2 will take first and then this plus sign and then the number from this to fill in this box so minus 2 plus 8 signs are different so we will subtract 8 minus 2 6 and sign of bigger number is positive so plus 6 Now for the second place here, we are going to add six plus eight. Six plus eight, you all know, fourteen. So six plus eight is fourteen. Third sum, zero plus eight. Zero plus eight is eight. Fourth sum, minus four plus eight. Minus four plus eight. Different signs, so subtract. Eight minus four is four, and sign of bigger number is positive, so plus four or just four you can write. Now let's have a look here. Which equation will be formed here? Let's see the expression that we need to form. Take the number from left hand minus two, plus on top we have four, minus two plus four. You know both are different signs, so four minus two two, and the bigger number is positive, so answer will be plus two. Yes. Next sum here, you will get six from here, plus four. Form the expression and write the answer. Six plus four, you all know it is ten. Next, zero plus four. Zero plus four is how much? Four. Correct. Next minus four plus four, both are different signs. So four minus four is zero. Zero will not have any sign. Next we have to fill up the expression here. So let's begin with minus two, minus two plus minus three. Now both the integers are negative, negative, same sign. What is our rule? If the integers have same sign, add them first. Ignore the signs, add them. So two plus three will give us five, and then the sign that the integers bear. Now integers have which sign? Both have minus signs, so answer will be minus five. Okay. Write the minus sign carefully. Don't write it too short, as it appears here. It has to be proper dash minus five. Okay. Next question that we will form here is six min plus minus three. Now one is positive, one is negative. So operation will be subtraction. 
6 minus 3 is 3 and bigger number is positive so answer will be 3. Next here we will have the equation formed as 0 plus minus 3. 0 plus minus 3 will be minus 3. And here we will have below this minus 4 plus minus 3. Both are negative means same sign. So we add 4 plus 3, 7. And since both are negative, negative sign will remain. That means minus 7 is your answer. Next question over here that will be formed is minus 2 plus minus 5. Both are negative so add same signs so add 2 plus 5 7 and minus sign remains. So minus 7 is your answer. 6 plus minus 5 plus and minus different signs. So look at the answer plus 6 plus minus 5 different signs. So we subtract 6 minus 5 1 and the sign remains positive or you don't put any sign when it is positive. Next 0 plus minus 5. 0 plus minus 5 is that number itself. When you add 0 to any number that number is the answer. So minus 5 is your answer. And last minus 4 plus minus 5 both are same sign so we add. 4 plus 5 9 and since the integers are negative answer will also be negative minus 9. So hope you have followed this particular practice set number 5. Do practice the sums for a better understanding. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.